Today our objective will be to be able to convert a growth factor to a growth rate for an exponential relationship. Two things that we always have to remember with growth factors and growth rates, as you can see at the bottom of the screen, a growth rate is never in the equation. You always put the growth factor into the equation, and the growth factor is that repeated multiplier, which is also the base. Again, the growth factor is not a percent, and the growth rate is always written as the percent. So we're going to start off with an example here of a growth factor of 1 and 34 hundredths. Now keep in mind what this means. This means that we are taking the whole, or 100%, plus another 34%. And so the first thing we need to do to convert a growth factor to a growth rate is to convert this growth factor into a percent. The way we convert a decimal to a percent is to multiply by 100. When I take 1 and 34 hundredths, multiply it by 100, I get 134%. Again, that re represents taking the whole, 100%, plus the percent increase of 34%. The next step that we do is we subtract that 100%, subtract the whole to determine the percent that it actually increases. When I subtract 100% from 134%, I get 34%. And what's left is the growth rate written as a percent. So a growth factor of 1 and 34 hundredths is equivalent to a growth rate of 34%. An example would be if something increases by 34%, the growth factor would be 1 and 34 hundredths. Here's a few more examples that we can try. We'll start with the growth factor of 1 and 75 hundredths. Again, remember what this means. We are taking the whole, or 100%, plus another 75%. The first thing we need to do is to multiply 1 and 75 hundredths by 100. We multiply it by 100 to convert it to a percent. So 1 and 75 hundredths is equivalent to 175 percent. To determine the percent increase then, we subtract the whole, the original amount. So I will subtract 100 percent. And what is left is my percent increase. And so 1 in 75 hundredths as a growth factor is equivalent to a 75 percent increase, which is the growth factor. There are four more examples on this slide. Please take a few minutes to convert each of these growth factors into growth rates and bring these four examples to class the next day.